Mom, let's go meet up uncle for today's daily diamonds. Yes, let's go. Hi, up uncle. Hey, good morning, up Betsy, uncle. Betsy. So happy to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you to doing today? We are doing fine. So it seems that you guys are excited. Yes, we are very excited for today. Okay, for what? For well, today's daily diamonds. diamonds. Yes. 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 Let's deep down in it. Okay. So today, um, I just want to ask you some questions. So okay. when a child is born in this world, right? Yes. So the nurse brings the child. Yes. So how the child will be at the time? Um, wrapped in a cloth. Wrapped in a and cloth. And a towel. Towel. Okay. Yes. Have you seen your towel where your mom has or the nurse wrapped you? Yes. My mother showed me a picture when my brother was so small. Oh, is it? Oh, it's such a, such a nice thing. You know, the same thing happened for baby Jesus. Did it? Can you believe it? No. Yes, but that is called as a swaddling of clothes. Oh, that's the first time I'm hearing this word. You know, it's a medical practice. It is practiced before 4,000, 5,000 years before in ancient oh. Turkey and Egypt. The swaddling of clothes is practice for the child to have a good uh, physical you know um, strength the limbs huh. should be proper the legs and um, hands should be stretched so uh, when the child is born normally what they do is they wrap the child they swaddle the child with the linen cloth really yes that is a medical practice actually you know, um, but nowadays it is coming back again. Uh, in between, it was lost. But nowadays, you see that the baby is yes. wrapped in yes. towel, yes, yes. so that the baby can sleep very well for many hours together. And that's what, when Jesus was born in this earth, he was swaddled with clothes and kept in a manger. All right, such a beautiful thing, right? Yes. That shows that how practical, how ordinary he wants to connect with the common man. He wants to connect with our day-to-day -day practices. Yes. Such is our big God, Jesus. Amen. You, you understand? Yes. That's such a beautiful thing, right? And also, I want to tell you that in Hebrew, or you know, for Jews, this cloth plays a very important role. Does it? Yes, because um, the mothers, the Hebrew women, uh, particularly for the child, before the birth of the child, they will have an embroidery made out of their own hand and they keep it as a very special to wrap this child with that cloth. Wow. And a Hebrew child is, is identified with that cloth. So this connection you can uh -huh. see in the birth of G uh, Moses. Yes. Moses saw the connection with the Jews because he saw the cloth where he was wrapped as a small boy and the cloth was in the Pharaoh's house and the same oh. kind of cloth was in the in Miriam's house. And oh. that's how he got a connection that says the history. Right? Yes. So swaddling of cloths. So let's read that in Luke 2.12. It says, and this will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. Wow. That's good. God bless, bless you. you.